Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on my channel. Uh, today you join me in the nether as I want to do five different means of nether transportation. So we're going to have the minecart, soul sand boots, the striders, yeah, striders are what they're called. I think they're called striders. Striders, minecart, and the old fashioned running. Oh, and ice boat. So I'm going to be designing also with them five tunnels that kind of fit with the theme, but there's a catch. I can only use blocks found in the nether. No other blocks will be allowed to be used in this project. So without further ado, let's build ourselves five different types of transportation.
Well, we've done it. All of the bridges are done. So we're going to take a look at all the bridges in a bit more detail as well as test them out. So the first bridge I did was the Soul Sand Bridge. So as you can see, you have Soul Sand there so you can get your Soul Sand Speed Boots and zoom across. I wanted to make it pretty uh, on theme with the Soul Van Valleys, which is why it's mostly bone blocks. With a bit of the black stone, uh, so Soul Lanterns I allowed myself because you tended to you could make them in the nether so I figured those were allowed as well as chains and we also have this big giant chain made out of bone and blackmail that is what is holding this bridge up it's a very simple design only using really three things well four if you count the lanterns which is at five I guess I'm using five blocks I'm using a lot more than you think but two colors pretty much two three colors if you want to count the light blue from the lantern so very simple design, but let's see how effective it is. I've got my golden boots, which if we take it around, zooms us across at full speed. I didn't realize how fast this is, oh my golly. Yeah, that's that's pretty, pretty fast, as you can see. You can just zoom across and you can get here pretty fast and it looks pretty cool, especially if you look up. Looking up is fun on these, zooming past with a little zigzag problem. So I would say this bridge is a success. Moving on to the next bridge, we have the jumping bridge, which is pretty much where you have a low ceiling and you go through it and you go like this. It's really hard to do in um, in, in, in creative, so I will turn on to survival for a moment and pray nothing tries to kill me. Should be okay, but as you can see, you can just zoom across like so pretty safely. Uh, and now let's see, sh let me show you what I did for this build. I went with a uh, a mix of the red and purple. It looks kind of clownish, I realize, but it's very vibrant and very simple with just striped pattern and you have the mushroom blocks as well. And then on the top is also striped, extremely striped. And then my favorite part though has to be the thing holding it up. I like using these half slabs where it looks like you have two halves making one block, which you don't. You just have the bottom slab of one and the top slab of another combining to kind of give that effect. And then we have more of the striped with that. Honest, to be honest, whoop, hello, okay. To be honest, I don't believe the nether warts go really well that well with their wood type i think they don't at all but i decided to combine them for this and give it a try but it's not something i would recommend this is probably my least favorite bridge out of the five i made all right moving on to the third design which is the minecart system i have quartz this time instead of bones it looks kind of bone like but it's not it's quartz and I like how it's being held by structures that are then attached to each other and they have these lanterns hanging down and it's a ringed pattern so we have the gold and guildstone as well as a lot of the crimson stuff. Uh, the reason why you're hearing blaze is because my friends were here, meaning that there are already people riding the minecart. He has the leather here, lever here, which for some reason is, uh, still works. So if you go through this, is kind of what it looks like. It's very overwhelming. The warped on the out inside. Oops, no, 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 Bad. These things are so annoying. Anyways, it's very overwhelming. You get the warped, and then on the outside, you get a lot more of the. Uh, of the stark, st the grim polished blackstone, that thing on the back. But overall, I really like it. It kind of has a ribbed effect to it, which I think is really cool. And I think it would also look really good if you use the other type of wood too. Maybe did a mix of them, but I decided to go with the crimson for this build. Up next, we have the walker who will uh, plop a nice little saddle on. Hop on, oh, I think I accidentally made a baby. Hop on and take a little strider for a walk down this tunnel, which I decided would be a show off of all your riches with a ton of uh, ancient debris as well as the most expensive block, especially lining the top and stuff. And this is definitely not a build you could do in survival, but I thought it'd be fun to do one that's more of a creative build which is what I've done here. It's also using the red nether brick, which is one of my favorite blocks in Minecraft just in general. I love that brick. For pillars, I've gone with a simple one here where it wraps around it, and it kind of makes a little heart-shaped, which I think is really cute. So you have little hearts 
keeping up your structure with the star. I've also kept in gaps using chains to kind of connect them as well as lanterns hanging just because I think that looks really cool to have gaps into the inside and the outside world and have the lava kind of glowing through or from the outside just having a another ambiance peeking through as you're riding your strider down this path. Now the final bridge we have is one of my weirder ones but I realized something cool that you can do is just have a naturally grown bridge in the way so you just take the, the log mushrooms and grow them up and voila you kind of got like a natural it's also a good like secret room like if I was to break in here you have a little room back there, which I can't seem to get to, but you have this little room and it comes pre-lit, which is kind of cool in my opinion. So the top of the bridge doubles as a secret room up there, but on the bottom we have this, which I kind of like this effect. I couldn't figure out what to do for the top, so I ended up not doing anything. Also, I have just realized something in the sense that I didn't realize the trees that I'd grown were going to grow through my ice like that. That is very rude of it. So blocks. So the way that the mushrooms grow is apparently that they will uh, just grow past your, your blocks. So you have to go through, I have to go through and de de destroy all this. I didn't realize this was something I was going to have to worry about, but apparently it's something is. Now if you're wondering why it's doing that, it's because my bridge, this bridge is being held up by trees growing out of the lava. I think this is one of my favorite parts about this bridge, which is and otherwise would be a very simple bridge but let me just clear this off and then we can test out the boats all right path all cleared i've got my boat we just hop in and supercharge ahead and we're on the other side in no time where we get shot out and you're probably wondering where all these bridges are leading to well they're leading to this this extremely big nether portal which has some goodies in the chest so that's that's my idea where the bridges are leading. There's also a bastion over here, which is fun. Oh, there we go. I got the achievement for entering the bastion. But the bridge starts sow over here and through it you can kind of go in almost a complete circle. If I was to make another bridge, I could have probably done a complete circle, but I only wanted to do five bridges today and that's all I've got time for. And speaking of all I've got time for, it's time now to do the outro. I hope you guys enjoyed these bridge ideas. Just let me know in the comments what you think. Maybe tell me which bridge is your favorite. Also, feel free to leave suggestions for other Moon Magical builds. I'm always open to hear what the audience wants to see me build. And yeah, that's all I've got time for. So, I hope you guys have a beautiful and blessed day. And I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye!